All right, here is my spaghetti squash. Rinse it off, clean it pretty good. Put in a glass dish for microwaving. Make sure you poke holes in it before you put it in the microwave. And please be extremely careful. Um, it looks like I could have um, cut a finger off the way I were the way I was stabbing that um, spaghetti squash, but you got to poke holes in it, so you got to do what you got to do, but if you're a young child, please get an adult to do that. Go ahead and put it in the microwave, and put it on about six and a half minutes. Then we're going to put uh, stir fry our uh, mushrooms, zucchini, and I have frozen onions. I freeze my onions if I get a lot of them. So you're going to go ahead and cut up your zucchini. I like long, slim dices or slices. Um, I love zucchini. Chop it up really good. Nice. Then you're going to check on your spaghetti squash again. Um, and then you're going to turn the glass dish and turn the um, spaghetti squash so that it can cook, cook all the way through. Uh, and make sure you get all sides of it. And then you're going to put it back on another six and a half minutes. I think I put it a little bit over six and a half minutes. I did. That's okay. Alright. So now I'm going to go ahead and take out my onions. And I did go ahead and slice those up before I started frying those. Even smaller. I like the smaller ones. And then I had about two and a half handfuls of um, mushrooms. That's what's going to give it the meaty taste. So now to a um, frying pan. We're going to add our coconut oil. I like using coconut oil because you can cook it, cook with it on a high temperature. I usually don't cook stir fry anything with um, olive oil because it pretty much burns. And I love coconut oil. It's good for you. So you put on medium high heat and add your mushrooms. Now do not add salt or pepper to this right now just go ahead and fry it because the mushroom will absorb the coconut oil and it'll dry out if you add salt to it so just cook it and in the meantime let's go check on our spaghetti squash okay so I felt it it was pretty hot <laughs> So I didn't think it was done enough. I used a spoon to see if it'll press down. That's how you kind of know when it's done. You can press down and it gives. And it wasn't quite done enough for me. So I closed the microwave and put it back in for another two and a half minutes. Alright, so my mushrooms are pretty much done. I'm going to take it out this pan and put it on a plate. Put it aside for a minute. Looks really good. Love mushrooms. I love all vegetables. So we're going to add some more coconut oil to this. So that I can uh, stir fry my zucchini and onion I put my onions in um, and you stir fry those until they turn I like mine a little brown most people like this translucent but I'm okay with it turning brown um, and after it turns brown then you're going to add your zucchini See, look how pretty that is. And then you add your zucchini.
and then you stir fry those until they have a nice brown color to them. A stir fry color, pretty much. Really good. And while they're stir frying, go ahead and check on your spaghetti. Yeah. And see how it gives? That's when you know it's done. Go ahead and add your mushrooms back into your zucchini once they have a nice little golden look to it. Um, and then you can go ahead and turn off your um, stove. And then you're going to uh, put that aside. Okay, so you cut your uh, spaghetti squash in half, and you'll notice there's seeds in it. And what you want to do is scoop out the seeds, just the middle part of the spaghetti squash. Um, get Try to get all the seeds, uh, as much as you can. And then you're going to fork the um, spaghetti squash to lift up the squash. And see how it looks? It's got the stringy looks, and it looks like pasta. That's what I like about it has kind of a sweet taste to it. And then you're going to go ahead and put it in your glass dish. And see? Looks really good. It looks just like pasta. It's going to taste like pasta to me. <laughs> I'm craving pasta, so yeah, it's going to taste like pasta. You're going to go ahead and add your olive oil to it. And, of course, a little bit of salt and pepper. And any other type of seasonings you would like to add to it. You can use garlic, uh, anything. Any type of seasonings you like. Whatever you want to season your veggies up with, that's cool. I just like it simple. Salt and pepper. Stir it up. And... Voila! This is what we have. Our spaghetti squash. Okay, tata. now here is the taste test for my um, vegetarian meal that I'm going to eat. Uh, nice, meaty, and um, all vegetables. That's it. Just vegetables. Alright, here we go. And it does. It looks just like pasta. That is so good. And this is satisfying my pasta cravings. Mm. If you like this video, please comment. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.